What's up guys and gals, welcome back to Neo Scavenger, my name is Splattercat, and we're going to do some late night recording right now. I didn't get what I wanted to do done during the day today, and so we're going late and overtime, which is, it's playing video games, so it's really not overtime, it's just funsies non-stop. What we're going to do today is I made it back to Detroit, as you can tell, I didn't scavenge along the way, so there's really not going to be anything new here for you to see. It's basically the same things that we had before. For right now, however, I think what I would like to do is sell off some of these firearms. So let's go to the junk market and we'll see if we can get this taken care of. After the junk market, we'll start thinking about some of the things that we want to accomplish as we go further into the game. Junk market. Let's see if they, what do they have on a flash drive right here? Ah, ISIAK. I believe that that is the hacking protocol for iPads. Let me check on my little wiki real fast to make sure I keep it up here on the side. Although I've got it on a different article right now. So unfortunately, I'm going to do a little like ticky ticky tappy tappy in the background. And I hope it doesn't bother anybody. Yes, indeed. ISIAK is for iPads, and so it allows us to hack an iPad, which is pretty sweet, assuming that it's locked. We don't have to hack this iPad because it's already ready to go, but still, at the same time, had we the need to do so, we'd be good to go. Ooh, new night vision goggles. That might not be a terrible idea. I think that we may have to go all in on that one because we have been waiting for a new pair. Ours are regrettably destroyed. This thing's about to break, too. I think we've got about 30 minutes before this thing breaks, if I had to throw it out there a little bit further. So, our vision goggles right here, as you can see, are at 12%. I like to have new stuff, and so I'm gonna keep it very, very fresh right now and buy these. It's worth the $100 expenditure, I'll tell you that much. If we can make use of those, it'll make our life a lot easier. Now we don't have to worry about our night vision goggles breaking all the time. I am also going to buy this memory stick because it's got one of the hacking protocols that we need. If I wanted to transfer it, I would just put this into this hand, a laptop into this hand, hack this laptop, it would become open, then I could transfer the programs in between. After that, I have no need for the memory stick anymore unless you're trying to hold data around. And so that would be that. For right now, I don't know what gun I should keep. I have a lot of ammo for my shotgun. I have six rounds for my shotgun, four rounds for my rifle. I think I'll probably keep the rifle just because it allows us to engage from a farther distance. So let's go ahead and get rid of the shotgun, I guess. That's going to be about $700. Our rifle's worth a similar amount. It just depends what you want. If you have the shotgun, you can engage close up a little bit better, which makes me wonder because we are a melee character, so most of the time we're going to be up close and personal. So maybe we'll keep the shoddy because yeah, by the time we get there, it's going to be too late. However, there have been situations I've heard where you can snipe guys from super far away with the rifle if you have a scope on it. So it might be worth trying that out. What do you think? I, I don't know what the right choice is right here. I think it's basically a stylistic choice at this point. What I do know is that we don't need either of these sidearms. So let's go ahead and make our money right there. I also know that I want to get rid of the liquor that we have on us. So there's a little bit of liquor gone. That's also going to help with our burden. I may actually just empty that out real quick because we still get paid for it. It leaves me with a bottle here. And so now that we've got that problem taken care of, the boot obviously we don't need. That we're going to be selling. The shoe we're going to be selling. Why he would want one shoe, I'm not really sure. But it is called a junk market. Let's be honest right now. It's already called a junk market, so one can reasonably assume that they're not known for having the best goods. We have a patchwork hide tunic. Not going to do much for us, so we can get rid of that as well. Our flashlight's still holding together pretty well. We probably need to charge that up before we leave, though. Throw that other military micro cell in there. We need to charge up both before we leave. Yeah, we don't have any batteries in there, but I don't think it'll let us put batteries in like while it's on our face. I'll sell you guys some sticks and some tinder. Obviously, I don't need that. The ice lab has nothing that I'm interested in except for a battery. So I'm going to take the ice lab battery so that we can put it into any ice lab that we need to because this had nothing that we wanted on it. I'm just going to sell it straight up front. That's going to give us $25 to work with. Extra binos. I may sell our bad binos right here and keep these ones. They're only a little bit better. But on the plus side, at least it's a little bit more durability than the previous ones. So swapping in the old, bringing in the new. I'll probably keep the shotgun bullets. Let's sell the hunting rifle. I think... That's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to keep the shotgun rounds because we are a melee character, which leads me to believe that a shotgun might synergize with our strategy a little bit better. It's very, very rare that I ever engage anyone who's like less than, you know, 20 meters. I'm sorry, further than 25 meters. And so I'm of the opinion we'll probably be good right there. Obviously, if we need to get another hunting rifle, we can just like murder another ATN guy. Eh, not that difficult. It is a thing that is inside of our capabilities. The mushrooms are worth a lot of cash, and I'm starting to wonder if I should start stockpiling those and bringing those back, too. It looks like a five stack, probably gets you about $15. Takes up, like, no space and no weight. You bring in enough of them, I bet you make a bunch of money. For right now, though, we have three grand in our hand, ready to roam the land. 
What's up with this Ravager knife? Okay, so let's get to this. This Ravager knife can go. It's not going to be useful either. Got one tarp, one crowbar, a number of bottles filled with water. We're not going to sell the water right now because we're going to need it to slake ourselves later on. That sounds like something you would say to somebody who were mad at. Be like, mm, go slake yourself. But nope, not a thing that we say to people that we are angry at. Instead, our trading is now done. I looked in what this Mega City tracking bracelet does. It just gives you the same thing that we got for free from Hatter. So, if you're hard up, there are, if you don't have trapping, obviously you're going to have to find a new way to do it. Either doing that quest, which is kind of risky, or you can buy it from right here for $3,000, which is actually a lot easier. Earning money in this game, not that difficult if you're reasonably talented at running around and scavenging real quick. But yeah, we're going to keep the shotgun because it's become familiar to me. I don't know. I named it Studebaker. And so Studebaker, the shotgun, is going to stay in our backpack. I'm really of the opinion we probably don't need this many lighters either. But they're so light and tiny that... Let's get rid of the 5%. We'll get rid of some of the empty ones. How about that? We'll get rid of some empties. I hope that all of you had a very, very nice New Year's Eve. My New Year's Eve was eventful in a number of ways. I got to go hang out with some friends. Went to the house, got our drink on for a little bit, enjoyed some cigars, and then went home. There was a bunch of drama when we got back to the parking lot. I had to basically break up a fight because people were... Getting super rowdy. I didn't break it. Like, people always say that, like, they jumped into the middle of it. Basically, I walked past, and I was like, you guys need to chill out. And then it seems to have, I don't know. I don't think it helped. They kept going, but came back out a little bit later and talked to them some more. And they seemed to be, like, going about their separate business. So that's fine. Peaceful resolution, all good for me. If I can keep two people from potentially getting into an altercation by talking them through it, whatever. Just, like, go for it. I don't know. I don't feel good leaving people. They were definitely, they had been drinking. You could tell. They've been drinking, so I don't want people to go home with, like, any extra wounds that they didn't have to. You know what I mean? Like, nobody wants to wake up the next day with a hangover and also, like, a knife wound or something. So I was like, you know what? Just, like, calm down. Everybody be chill. Everybody's here to have a good time tonight. Just, eh, go back to your apartments. Disperse peacefully. You know what I mean? So anyways, let's empty that out. We'll get the charges right here. Ain't no need for anybody to get hurt in any situation that doesn't need to. Especially if you just go home and live your life. Obviously. Just go home, be chill. I think actually the easiest way for us to fill this out right here is to go like so. That should fill it up with partial charges. Let me empty this out though real quick. And we'll just click on the 20s real fast to get it all nice and filled up. We also need to fill up, this is one of the more tedious parts of the game, filling up electrical devices. These are full. That's got 16. I'll take it. I'm going to go ahead and drop these on the ground real quick. It won't let you put a battery in without taking it off. I guess we're just simply not ambidextrous and talented enough to take things off. And put batteries in while it's attached to our face. Be like, ah, stab my eye with a battery. Great, now I'm blind in the apocalypse. Be like, so how'd you lose your eye, Wolfman? Be like, eh, yeah, sure. I, I'll tell you how I didn't do it. I didn't stab myself in the face with a round battery. How I managed to put my eye out with a round surface, <laughs> beyond me, what do I know about anything? I'm going to empty those out real quick. Take those four batteries. Once again, I'll reiterate, you probably want to separate these batteries before you fill them with electricity. Somebody told me that during a stream, and I had never realized that these two stacks were actually two stacks. It's got a two on it, but apparently I was... I was obtuse enough to not realize you could put four batteries inside. I just never thought about it, really. I was like, eh, whatever, you know, whatever I have in there. It's just not something I focus on for long periods of time. I'm not trying to make excuses, because it's kind of an obvious thing, but I messed it up. And so there you go. They told me on the stream, now I know, and knowing is half the battle. Gee, you gotta do the theme song right after. If you don't do the theme song, it's just a waste of breath. We could go into the city right now, but there's not really much in there. Like, seriously, there's not that much to accomplish in the city. I always feel like Detroit is actually kind of lackluster in this game. There are reasons to go inside later, but for right now, there's like an apartment building where you can go to like a bodega and like buy water and like liquor and stuff like that. Basically, there's a liquor store. There's an apartment complex with people dancing in front of it. There's like a sock hop diner, like a 1950s. Do they have those in Europe? In the United States, there's a 1950s sock hop diner like Mills or like Johnny Rockets, like every five feet. They're all over the place here because people love nostalgia and people love jukeboxes. And it's just like, I don't know. I enjoy them too. I'm a hypocrite if I say that I don't enjoy them. I go to them all the time. Sock hop diners, it's just like a part, I suppose, of like, I don't know. It's We call it Americana here. It's just like the random stuff that people used to do like back in the 50s. I don't know. I, I don't get it, but for whatever reason, we always go. Like, if there's a sock hop diner, you're like, yeah, a burger sounds great, and I feel like going to a place where all the music uses the bass line, bunk, bunk, banana, bunk, bunk, banana, bunk, bunk, banana, bunk, like, everything has that kind of beat to the background. It's probably got, like, a formal name. I don't know what it is. Ooh, shacks in the forest. 
Mm -hmm. He should let the Lakers know, though, if he's going to wander around in the darkness like this. He's kind of a valuable asset to the team. Also, he should probably tell Gold Bond and like Icy Hot and all those other places that he's going to be like out roaming, potentially putting himself at risk. You know, those endorsement deals, they go deep. They make a lot of money. So you got to be careful. We still got nothing over here. Storage shed. I don't think that this actually actually it looks like we're losing charges right now. So, yeah, I think it does. I think every time we scavenge, it gets us into a little bit of trouble. So basically, we lose a charge every time we do an action with these on our face. Hey, now. There it is. That's what we're looking for. That's the type of yield that I like to see. Feral mummy bag, $80 made in my hand. $20 right there from a meat cleaver. Rifle scope with 74% on it. We are still going about the business of making sure that we have enough money to get all of our cyber augmentation done to make our life easier later on. But for right now, we're going to take some moves. If this is a point in the game you don't want to watch, like the scavenging, my recommendation would be eh, probably go watch another video because unfortunately, Neo Scavenger, you do a lot of scavenging. It's just part of the game. It's in the name, unfortunately. It's it's there. Player has a headache, probably from looking down night vision goggles for 9, 10 hours at a time. A makeshift sack. Is it better than mine? No. This sack is definitely inferior to mine. All right, then. We found some berries. That's pretty cool. Probably bring those along for later. Throw those in the inventory. The small chunk of hide, not that interesting to me, but the scraps of tinfoil we're definitely going to need. What else we got here? Whiskey bottle. I'll probably drink that right now, as I always do. It'll make us sweat profusely, but I'm doing it for the thirst and the hunger so that we don't have to carry it along with us, but we still get the replenishment. Ooh, I like that word, replenishment. Yeah, that's a word. That's a loaded word right there. You know that if somebody experienced replenishment, they feel great. I'm going to use the flashlight because I feel like it'd be better for this situation. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on so that we can use it instead of our lighter when we're scavenging. I think we have bad luck. We're scavenging around Detroit. Anytime you're scavenging around Detroit, you have to figure you're probably not going to have the best yield. Noise trap over there. I've been neglecting my noise trap recently, and I feel kind of guilty about it. I know there's probably at least five or six of you who are mad at me for not using the noise trap, but it's just like it's a big thing that i got to carry around in my inventory. Like, it is useful when you sleep. Don't get me wrong. If you want to play the game at the apogee of... If you want to be, like, at the top, like, at the apex of your game, yes, you should absolutely use makeshift noise traps. But I get to this point in the game, and I just get super lazy. And that's what it comes to. Did I sell my gun? Is that still on my back? Okay, I was going to say, I can't see it on my back. We should probably make a spear at some point. Just a thought that occurred to me. We should probably make a weapon now that we unloaded all the stuff that we were carrying around with us. Our player is shivering, and he's tired. That's unfortunate for him. However, we're going to go berry hunting right now. Hunting berry hard. Did we get some edibles? Okay, so we got some edible mushrooms right there, but they're in bad shape. They're 40% mushroom. The other 50 some odd percent, I'm not sure what it's made up of, but there's the joke. It's probably like mold and like chunks and grossness. Anyways, we'll use that real quick. Let's make ourselves a lovely little battle stick. And I know I have a piece of glass around here somewhere. I know there's a piece of glass around here somewhere. I took it in the last episode. It's here. Piece of glass. Make yourself known. I thought I put a piece of glass in here from a bottle that I broke, but it appears to be missing. I may not have picked it up. We may have to just make like a normal hardened spear for right now and then just go. So I'll make a sharpened spear for the moment. Once we find some glass, we're scavenging. It'll probably take us about eight seconds to find some glass or something pointy. There we go. So we've got that. Where's our... Can I use a meat cleaver? Can I make like a naginata out of it? Because that would be pretty bitchin'. Let's see if we can make a naginata out of this. That would make me happy. I throw that around there and then like some melee skill. Oh, we can't make, like, a super awesome... The Naginata is one of my favorite weapons in, like, everything. It sounds like a nerdy weapon. Like, what is your favorite weapon? But like, I enjoy the Naginata. And it's just like, I don't know. I like Naginatas. We've got... Actually, I should probably wield that like a weapon for right now since it's in our hand already. Let's go find some glass. We're getting far enough away from Detroit right now to where I feel like we'll probably have a pretty good chance of finding the things that we need. In fact, there's some glass right there. There's a 95% glass. So that's good. Any better? 95 is the best one we got. Okay. Let's take the 95 and let's make ourselves a makeshift weapon for right now because the meat cleaver is not... Oh, we didn't bring the stick with us. Hell. That reminds me of that... It reminds me of the King of the Hill episode where Bobby's nickname becomes the stick. <laughs> he's the stick from which the coach hangs the carrot. And Bobby's all happy about it just because he's on the team. He is the stick. <laughs> if you don't outperform Bobby, you get cut from the team. That's pretty funny right there, though. That was a funny episode. I don't know. I always felt like King of the Hill was really, really clever. And it never really got the credit that it deserved for being clever. Oh, it's snowing today. That's not good. 
We're still sweating too. Why are we sweating? Because the outdoor temperature is pretty low. It's got to be because of the soda. It's got to be from the soda. We're caffeine crashing or something. I don't know. Got the chills. We got something going on right now, and it's not going to work out for us in the long run. Either way, I've got mummy bags, and that's all that I need to be happy. These things are worth a ton. Worth a fortune. Keep them in the inventory. All right. Well, let's just keep scavenging. We'll keep an eye on our status for right now. Mm-hmm. Bring that good shit in right now. There it is. We had a huge chance right there. There's another scope that we can keep stacked up in our inventory. We got a little stick right there. I could use a big stick, though. Let's go over there. Don't shout that one too loud when you're at the club. I'm going to leave that on for right now because it lasts forever anyways, and I don't even care. Let's snap these off. Are they already turned off? Oh, they they actually ran out of batteries. Okay, empty it out real fast. We'll go through the batteries quick style on those, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Let's keep those loaded up. I'm not going to turn them on for right now. We'll use a flashlight or something else to scavenge while we're out and about. I'm stacking up a lot of objects right now, and I don't know if the bar actually fills up past the green, but it's already full. Can it go up past there? Does anybody know? Does it actually count? Can you have like 118% to gather, or does it top out at 100%? Either way. Hey, there's an extra tarp. That's pretty good. Extra tarp to make another sack in case we get ourselves in trouble. Keeping my sash on, right? That sash is pretty bitching right there. You know a man that rocks that sack in the apo- That sack. I was looking over here. I was looking over here. I wasn't thinking about sack. I don't, don't judge me. A makeshift sash. You know a man that rocks a bright sash like that in the apocalypse? He's like a- He's like a post-apocalyptic king just walking through just like, Yeah, I want you to see me. I don't even care. You can see me walk through. And, eh, watch me. Watch me walk through. I don't even care. That's a song. It's a real thing. They watched me They watched me walk through. They had that on the radio for hella long back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean like six months ago because hip-hop music on the radio sort of just like bounces around quickly. It goes in and out of style so fast. But then again, most hip-hop is pretty easy to make. If you got a copy of Pro Tools and like you just buy like a couple like $30 plugins, you can make most of the beats these guys are spit like spitting on like really, really quick style. It's not difficult. With a little bit of recording experience, if you know what frequencies to boost up, you can get that exact sound right there. It's the, it's the wrapping that's difficult. There we go. So we got some water right here. That's good because our status was looking a little bit low. Probably drink that real quick. Oh, man, we got heat exhaustion. What happens if I drink more? Will I get... Can I die from corny refreshment? I realize that I'm taking real risks with my safety right now. I fully address the fact that you're probably not supposed to drink this much soda in one sitting. We've had like five bottles. There we go. We're all better. It fixed us. Hooray. A locked storage shed. You should always use the crowbar on that, by the way. Eh, the locked storage shed. Apparently, it didn't do a good job. People had already gotten in. Grave robbers. We got a pretty nice Circuit Shack flashlight right there. Is it charged? Yeah, it's charged. We could fall back on it in a minute if we need to. That's good. That'll be pleasurable and enjoyable. After this, we need to find a forest, though, and maybe, like, make ourselves a weapon that is not a kitchen utensil. That makes me worried. I don't like to wield kitchen utensils. I just don't put a lot of faith in them right now. And they'd be like, but why? I have faith in you to wield me properly. Meat cleavers don't kill people. People kill people. It's a real apocalyptic problem. It's actually, it's a tearing vote. It's a thing that people get frustrated about. They get angry and they're just like, you know what? I have the right to bear a cleaver. I have the right to bear a cleaver and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm, I'm, I have my right to, rare, to bear a cleaver right now. And ain't nobody gonna, you can pry my cleaver from my cold, dead hands. There <laughs> we go. Go ahead and eat some mushrooms and some berries. Obviously, this is a joke. I'm just talking. Don't get mad. Don't turn the comments into a political section. I don't mean to. Technically, I would have banned myself in the stream right now because one of the rules is no political talks. It just seems to make everybody happier. Although the few times that it's happened, I've been really surprised. The Nerd Castle seems to hold it together. People are really respectful. I was like, damn, this was not the result that I expected. We got a 53% spear. Alright, well, I guess it'll work for now. It's because the shaft was all messed up or something. Oh, it's because... Wait, the rags are deteriorated? How are the rags... Whatever, I don't know. Just put that thing in your hand. There we go. Throw the meat cleaver up in the back. It'll be our backup weapon. It's our holdout weapon, just in case. Things new, and just in case we got beef. That's what it comes down to. Deal with beef like we're dealing with a cleaver. That's how we do it. Alright, so we're vomiting again. Apparently because drinking too much soda makes you sick to your stomach. Our character's been vomiting for like five days straight now. I don't know what's wrong with him. There's definitely something wrong. And I mean that in the nicest possible way, but there is truly something wrong with our character right now. That phone's got a battery in it, and that's all that I care about. I actually just want to strip the battery out of it, so... Uh, there it is. 
Now that we've got the battery to every single electronic in the game, we actually don't have to carry them around with us. We can just hack them as we move along and then just ditch them because they're not worth that much money. And a lot of them are kind of heavy. You, you may have to carry them around with you. For right now, though, we've had a really good scavenging day so far. No guns or anything yet, but we have found a lot of the other good stuff. Be careful when you go up north. The further up north you get, the more you're going to run into, like, dogmen and things like that. And I've actually, in the past stream, we got up north, like, way up north, and we fought five, like, four or five dogmen in a row within, like, a one-day period of me trying to, like, rest and sleep and stuff. So many dogmen. So many dogmen all over the place. We found, like, a suburb up here, but it doesn't actually look like it has that much loot. It looks like it's been picked clean already. Usually they start out with a lot more loot available. We're kind of, like, bending things in our favor right now by using bonus items, but yeah... Not a good place to be scavenging right now. Hey, another mummy bag! Do the mummy bag dance. Uh, uh, do the mummy bag dance. Uh, uh. The mummy bag dance is real simple. It's just like you put your hands at the sides, and then you just shimmy like a worm. Do the mummy dance. Mm. There it is, mummy dance. I'm trying to help you out right now so that when you go, like the next time you go to a convention and they have like strobe lights and stuff, do the mummy dance. Watch, I promise you, nothing bad will happen. You will in no way lose face to anybody there. It's okay. I've seen people dance at cons. I wouldn't be worried about it in the first place. You could just stand there in the middle of the dance floor and you probably still just fit right in. It's all good. I've seen some people, though. There's always that guy. I've been to conventions and I've been to nightclubs. I've been to conventions, right? And there's always that guy where he's like sitting in the corner, just like popping and locking, going so hard, just making everybody else look terrible. Just like break dancing and stuff. You're just like, wow. Like by this radius right now, I, I can two step and I can like V step and I can do some random stuff just by nature. Of just like, eh, because I look this kind of stuff up, I look it up on the internet late at night. And I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be that guy. I want to know how to dance if I'm in a dance-related situation. I don't want to be that guy. And so, I learned how to dance a little bit. Just so you, honestly, all you need is a two-step. Like, watch the scene from Hitch. That's seriously, that's all you need. When Will Smith is teaching Kevin James how to dance, you don't do the Q-tip or any of that. You just, hands at your side, just sway him a little bit. Step once to the right, bring the other foot over. Pop it, click heels or something, bring it back. And, you know, it's a little bit of practice. Look in the mirror when you do it. Seriously, though, learn how to dance. You're going to go to a lot of weddings and stuff during your life. And there, I promise you, you're not going to make it through your entire life without having to dance. Anyways, back to the game. Gas stations have all been drained of their liquid gold. This one may have been empty before the crash by the looks of it. Barely any working cars left to tell whether the gas or fuel cells were in the mainstay. The pumps are still here, though. A man in tattered, filthy suit is chained to the nearest one. He calls out to you to free him. Says they left him like this. He's worried the crows will peck out his eyes once they figure out he's immobile. Pinned to his chest is a sign in big visible letters. Don't touch. Property of Martha's army. You ask him what he did to upset him. Had a trolley full of eye slabs. Was taken him to the market, he replies. Were they the Martha's army eye slabs? That was kind of a cryptic answer. Peculiar tone of voice. Equal parts indignant, proud, and demanding. You get the feeling that he's trouble. <laughs> Steal his shoes. He won't be needing them, and you could do with a pair. You don't want to mess with Martha's army. The shoes might be Martha's army, too. I'm leaving. Well, let's take his shoes. You get to work on his shoes. His invective doesn't let up until you strip his feet bare. Hard to find decent shoes these days. All it's about are coarse-haired, hand-woven crap made out of varmint fur. Itchy to death. He's manufactured... <laughs> these are manufactured way back when. The synthetic fiber is still strong. Thanks, man. He's gonna be all kinds of upset. We just went prison. Oh, they're 100%?! Oh, this dude just had the worst day ever. They weren't even like janky shoes. This guy got robbed so hard. Oh, he said, give me them shoes. That's some real prison mode shit right there. People steal shoes in prison. It's just like a thing that people do. Like, don't have nice shoes in prison would be would be my recommendation. Don't ask how I know. No. Like, I said this during the escapist. I have a bunch of people in my family who have done prison time. And they tell stories. And that's how you hear it. Nothing says fa-la-la-la-la like a Christmas dinner talk about prison time. I mean, it's been years after the fact now, so at this point, it's, like, kind of funny. Like, it's become slightly funny at this point. Not, like, super funny yet. Like, it's still kind of sad when they tell some of the stories, but I don't judge. Not my business. Let's go ahead and put the boot up here. I'm going to eat these berries right now. Get in my mouth, berries. Don't try and run. You see that? They tried to run to the other end of my backpack. They tried to flee, but they should have known better. Should have known better. They should have known I was going to get them. I'm just going to keep these boots in case I need them later. They're not worth that much, but they're tactic. Eh, I'll ditch them. They're not worth that much. They're not worth my my bracket is usually twenty dollars. I'll leave him those shoes. I'll take the good shoes. You can have my shitty shoes. I'll leave him with something. Anyways, hopefully those weren't Martha's Army shoes because we just ripped that guy off hardcore. Ah well, the wasteland's a hard place. Don't get chained to a gas pump. That would be my advice to you. Makes you easy pickings. Another tarp right there. Another tarp. 
There we go. And so we got some painkillers right there. I don't really care, though. I never use painkillers in this game, so I don't usually bring them along. Another tinfoil, which is actually weirdly more useful than you'd think it would be. I figure we probably load up a little bit further. I hope we find a sled or something soon, because our sled's about to break. And if our Trevois breaks real soon... Oh, he's got a gun. Hold on, take cover, just in case. Okay, so he's got a gun. You take cover and are harder to hit. I'm going to stab him real fast. Stabity, stabity. He's stunned and bleeding. Hit him again. He's just bleeding now. So we pelted him. How are you pelting him with a spear? The spear is for stabbing, not for pelting. I always feel like it's kind of funny that you can, like, ask them to be friends after the fact right now. And then they're, like, totally okay with it. I'm going to try and sweep. No, we're at three range. That'll move him out to four range. We've got him where we want him right now. I got you where I want you. Now I'm going to eat you. You ever heard that joke? That's a little kid joke from back in the day. That's a little kid joke that goes way back. Oh, his shotgun didn't have any ammo. I figured that because he didn't fire at us when we dove for cover. I figured we were probably... He's got gummy bears. Wait, you better empty those out right now. I want some gummy bears. And we've got ourselves a new hunting... It says hunting rifle, but it's a shotgun. See what I mean? Sometimes you get these bugged out rifles that say that they're... They're rifles or whatever, and they're actually not. Now that we got a gun, I'll throw some shells in it real fast. Because... Why not? We're not carrying a weapon with us right now. I still wish you could put a strap on a spear, but you can't... There's one more thing. The shopping cart is bigger than this, and I think you can fit a shotgun into the shop. We might be able to fit it on the Trevois. Let me see right now. It's a little bit shorter than the rifle. We might be able to fit it on here. Where did that even go? I'm not even sure where the gun went just now. Oh, it's still in my hand. Okay. Oh, yeah, that'll actually fit on the cart. Cool. Yeah, fit it on the cart then. Oh, it takes up the remainder of our space, though, so we got to be careful from here on in. All right, well, fine by me. Let's move this stuff around. If we can carry it and still keep our spear in our hand, that's what I'd rather do. Is your sash nicer than my sash? See, if I'm going to sashay away, I need a nicer sash. So there we go. I'm going to throw on a hospital gown, too, because it counts as extra clothing, so why not? Are those edible? No. Here, I'm going to rub mushrooms on you. Uh, I rub my mushrooms all over you, and then I'm going to walk away. I rub you with the mushrooms of insult. And so now we'll go back, and this guy's got one shoe on. Hey, man, there's a dead body over there from a guy who's an asshole. You want to go take his stuff? Like, no way. I don't want clothes that an asshole wore. i just not down with that. No, thank you. We're pretty weary right now, but I'm trying to make it back to the Detroit before my Trevois breaks because I know it's going to in just a second. If there's one thing I know about this game, it's that my hand truck is going to break like at any moment. It might be a better plan to go to ATN, actually. How much durability does it have left? 22.8. We're going to get close. Oh, we're not going to make it. I wonder if our Trevois is going to break before we get there. Let's go for the ATN. Let's go for it. Because the ATN, you can get a new Trevois, which is what I'm worried about. It's the only place where you can consistently get, like, a new cart to carry your stuff around with. We're weak with thirst. Maybe I should drink some water or something. That seems like a wise idea, considering the game is like, dude, you are dying of thirst right now. Seriously, drink some water. You're looking all pale. You got, like, that weird, like, white, crispy stuff around your lips. Just drink some water, man. Drink some water. If we can make it over... Does it lose durability every time I step or every turn? It looks like it's every turn, like 1% or so. I'm going to go over here onto this hill, and then we're just going to crash here for a little bit. Let me take one of these mummy bags out. Oh, they're all in my good inventory. Shh, don't tell the bad inventory that I call it the bad inventory, but, you know, it's the bad inventory. We'll go over here, we'll drop those in there, and we're going to sleep for a little bit. Make sure that the noise trap will wake us up if anything goes wrong. It's okay, we don't have much to do. It's kind of cold out, though. I don't know if I could sleep in the snow. That seems like it would suck. I've seen Les Stroud do it when he's like in real, real dire straits. He just like puts up against a tree, lights a little fire in between his legs, and then just like sleeps next to a tree, but it seems like it sucks. It does not seem like much fun. They have to pay me so much to do that job. Like just be a survivalist for a living, just spend all of your time like starving and thirsty. So much money would have to be paid. So much money. I think that's why Les Stroud quit. He said the money wasn't worth being hungry all the time. I, I distinctively remember him saying that. He was like, yeah, I basically almost starved to death for a living. And it's just like, eh, I'm getting too old for it because he was getting close to his 50s or whatever. Let's keep walking. Les Stroud is my hero in case you didn't know. Like, he's one of my heroes. Cody Lundin cracks me up. He's got no shoes, and I'm not sure if I'm, I'm, not sure if I'm okay with that right now. His whole, like, I'm not going to wear shoes routine. It seems kind of like that's a bad idea if you're going to be a survivalist. Like, shoes are kind of a big deal. There it is. Oh, man, we're so far away. I don't even know if we're going to make it by today. Let's keep drinking, I guess. We only have a little bit of water left. Yeah, that's the last of our water supply right there. And so we're slaked. We're good to go. I think we could probably... I'm going to eat these blinkies real fast, too. 
And I'm going to break off the episode right here. I'm going to try and make it up to the ATN before the next episode. Let me know. I will see you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody. As always, my name is Splattercat, and it's my pleasure and privilege to have you here. I just said, like, privilege. I said, like, a weird word right there. My privilege to have you here hanging out with me. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Hi-do, everybody, and I'll see you next time.